bei ya mafuta imepanda wananchi wanataka iteremuke unajua let me tell you hauwezi ukadanganya watu wakati wote kuna fika wakati watu wanaelefuka kufika sasa hivi wa Kenya wamegundua kwamba walidanganywa walipewa ahadi za uongo najua tuko na matatizo na mambo ya mafuta tuko na matatizo kwa sababu ya mambo ya taxes ambayo inaongeza bei ya mafuta mimi nataka niwaambie hii mafuta inaongezwa usiku na mchana mimi nataka niwaeleze ya kwamba these people don't understand the damage they are doing to the people and the economy of Kenya kwa hii taxes wanaongeza usiku na mchana as we are talking right now there is no single promise that Kenya Kwanza government has fulfilled I commit to provide mothers of newborn babies with diapers for their children for a minimum of three months paid for by the government of Kenya. Serikali ya Kenya kwanza ikiongozwa na William Samoei Ruto walidanganya wa Kenya As we are talking right now Kenya Kwanza government is not undertaking any mega project. Hakuna project wamefanya tangu wengine mamlakani. They are not constructing expressway. They are not constructing SDR. They are not constructing any mega project. Hakuna project wako nayo hata moja one year since they took power regardless they have decided to balloon taxes to add taxes on top of taxes they have decided to continuously raise the price of fuel And if they promise the Kenyans that uh, they are not going to touch taxes, they are not going to, write, to, 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 to raise the price of fuel, and they will make sure that they will lower the cost of living. As we are talking right now, the cost of living in Mepanda, pay your mafuta in Mepanda. dola against the shilling yo yo mepanda the economy of our country is going down swali unafaa kujiuliza ushuru ambao tunaokota kila siku unaenda wapi ukiwauliza watakuambia kwamba tunalipa madeni madeni gani since independence we have been poor away lakini sasa kukafika kwa hii serikali wakasema kwamba hatutafanya maendeleo yoyote tutaokota pesa na hizo pesa tutalipa madeni hatuambiwi hayo madeni ni pesa ngapi hatuambiwi wanalipa pesa ngapi and even they are borrowing billions of money every month now we don't know how much they are borrowing My fellow Kenyans, I want you to wake up. Because looting that is happening right now in the government ni kubwa sana. Kama maisha ichakuwa magumu kwako, sijui unaishi Kenya gani. Uru Kenyata, yes, alikuwa mlevi. Lakini hakufanya maisha iwe magumu kiasi hiki Ingawa alikuwa mlevi alituachia SGR akatuachia expressway 
akatuachia barabara lakini as we are talking right now this government is not undertaking any major project in our country they are saying that they are saving money to 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 pay debts I've never seen a disastrous government as this one people who lie to your face people who are not ashamed to lie to people sahi wako kwa kwa serikali sahi wako kwa serikali lakini bado wanakuambia wako na mipango. Bado wanakuambia watafanya. Bado wanakuambia wametenga. Yet they are in control. Mbona mtuambie kwamba mtafanya? Mbona mtuambie mko na mipango? Mbona mtuambie mmetenga sio bilioni ngapi? Mbona mbona msifanye tu ona mmefanya tu? Ama mtuambie wakati mmefanya? This is not time for promises. This is the time to implement implementation. We don't need promises. Atutaki kuambia kwamba tumeweka. Tumefanya. Tuko na mipango. We have got used to that language. We don't want to hear it anymore. Tunataka kuona vitu sifani. As Kenyans we want to pay taxes. Lakini shida ni kwamba over taxation again is evil. Tunataka kulipa ushuru tutengeneze nchi yetu. Lakini over taxation to over tax people of Kenya is not only demonic. It is satanic. Huyo ni mtu ambaye hana huruma. Huyo mtosha ushuru. This taxman who is also the president of Kenya. Yeye unajua hajui shida ni nini. Kwa sababu chakula na kula state house mwananchi ndiye anamlipia. Gari anatumia mwananchi ndiye anamtumia. Usafiri wake ni mwananchi anasimamia. Breakfast yake asubuhi mwananchi ndiye anamsimamia. Rent yake mali nyumba anaishi mwananchi ndiye ana maintain yeye hata mshahara wake hatumii so he, he doesn't understand the suffering that Kenyans are going through so kwa sababu hii ulikuwa wema kwamba mimi ni hasla mimi ni mtu ambaye nimelelewa kwa shida sasa shida za wananchi na sielewa mumemweka status one year Hamisahau. It doesn't now want to understand the problems that you are facing. My fellow Kenyans. My fellow Kenyans, wake up. Governments are there to serve people and to solve problems facing the people. Lakini wala ambao mmeweka pale wamekuwa nyama na wako tayari kuwakula just be careful